Hello and thank you for watching the Docs42 scenario video about document automation and collaboration. And today we will show you how you can generate D365 CE documents directly in Microsoft Teams. My name is Lisa, I'm business technology evangelist at Docs42 and I'm very happy to do this video together with my colleague Fabian today. Hi Fabian. Hi, I'm Fabian. I'm also a business technology evangelist and I will do the live demo then and jump in the role of a junior sales manager and you can be excited. But first, Lisa, will you give you a quick overview about the content of the video and then um, I will be back. Sales projects are usually realized in a team effort. There's someone who is the contact person for the customer a team member who takes care of technical specifications and a sales manager that approves the deal or grants special conditions. In the end, everyone works on the same goal, delivering the perfect quote to the customer. All of that requires a solid technical infrastructure, collaboration efforts and streamlined processes. D365 CE and Microsoft Teams provide the perfect pace to capture information and to collaborate on projects, for example, by discussing why the chat, which rates to offer, or by uploading all required project documents to a SharePoint folder without having to leave the Microsoft Teams environment. So why not also generate the perfect sales quote directly in Teams? Docs42 does this job for you and in this video we show you how you can collaborate on your D365CE quotes and automatically create, send and store sales quote documents with data from D365CE and SharePoint and without having to ever leave Microsoft Teams. How will the live demo look like? So I'm Lisa, I'm the sales manager at Solar Power Deluxe and Fabian is part of my team. I just got off the phone with the prospect with Michaela Mitarbeiter from Adventure CEO and they are interested in receiving a proposal from us. So what I'm doing now is I'm asking Fabian, who is part of my team, to please prepare the necessary documents and I'm changing into my teams and I'm going to send him a message requesting to generate the documents. Well, I got the message here from Lisa. Hi, Fabian. I just got off the phone with Michaela. She is the potential customer from Adventure CO. Please generate the individual proposal and store it in Teams. I double check it and send it out later. So I just give a thumbs up here. And as we said, we don't have to leave Teams. I just have my um, solar panels proposals tab here and I directly can generate this proposal, this PowerPoint presentation for our customer. And here is some information you see this, we are solar powers to look. So we are providing solar panels on the roof of the customers. And here is Michaela Mitarbeiter, our contact person. This is the potential customer, Adventure CO. And there's some information about the current situation, of course, and customer needs. And now I just want to generate a PowerPoint presentation. And I do this with just one click. I click here, save to SharePoint and Teams. And the Docs42 online service is right now generating this PowerPoint presentation, integrating all this information from CRM, and then it will store this document directly in our in a specific library in SharePoint, for example. So here it is said done. That was my job. I go back to sales um, to my sales teams and tell Lisa that this done for my side, and I can say good luck with the customer, for example, and that was it for my part in the beginning. Great. So I'm very happy that Fabian has done the job. So I'm just going to send him a small heart. <laughs> he received that. And now I go to my sales proposals and I'm going to check the presentation which you generated. So now I'm here still in my teams and I can see a proposal for solar panels was generated one minute ago by Fabian Hoover because we are using Azure Active Directory in the background so I can always see who has generated the presentation. 
and let's have a look. Opening it here, still in Teams, and I can see we now have a PowerPoint presentation for Adventure CO for a customer, for Michaela. And let's see what else is there. The second page here, this first one shows three products. Those three pro products we pulled from D365 CE that were connected with the opportunity. Here we inserted a fitting picture that was actually stored in SharePoint. We pulled this from SharePoint. And the same for a picture of Claudius Cloud, who was stored in the opportunity as the opportunity owner. So this is why it says Claudius Cloud here. And this picture up here also comes from D365 CE. It is the logo of our company. Then down here in the next slide, we can see a few of our reference customers that are also stored in CE. And a company analysis. So this is what we've added to the opportunity in CE. We have the current situation, we have the need and the proposed solution and the text from CE combined with, again, suitable pictures from SharePoint. Then we have our product. We even did some calculations with Docs42 in the background. So we calculated a total, a special discount, and we've repeated that for three products we are proposing to the customer. And here, a slide with a connection plan. And this slide actually was a separate PowerPoint presentation that's also stored on SharePoint. Fabian will show it later to you as well. And just on the last page here, we can see a contact form with Claudius Cloud and even a QR code that was directly generated. And this leads to his phone number, if you scan it. So I'm really satisfied with what I see here. And now I go back to my tips because I really liked it. And I go back to my sales solar panels proposal. And since I really liked it, I'm going to send it directly to Michaela for her to receive the document. So what I do here now is I'm just going to say email proposal and now docs42 in the background is regenerating the PowerPoint presentation and also generating an email and sending it to Michaela with all the information needed. It says done here and now I'm going to switch to my general tab and I'm going to wait for the email to appear. Here it appeared because I also cc'd my Teams channel so that everyone's aware that the proposal just got out. And if I go here and see more, I can see here the email, which is also personalized with pictures because the email itself, the email body, was a Word document, the Docs42 Word template that was generated as an HTML. And if I say download the original email, and if I open it, I will also show you that here you can see it in big and attached. We have the presentation and if I open it, you can see it's the same document. Great. So let's switch back to Teams. I sent this to Michaela and now in our scenario, fast forward a few days later, Michaela just sent me another message. She said she was really happy with the proposal. They would like to proceed and they would like to receive a quote for us. So I'm asking Fabian now to please set up the quote and I'm giving back to him now. Well, that's perfect. That is good news that Michaela wanna wanna have the quote. Um, and of course, I created a quote in CRM. And again, I don't have to leave Teams here to generate a quote. I can directly open it here from my Teams Solar Panels pa um, panel. So um, just you can imagine that if you're providing solar panels and the service, so the, the installation of the panels on the roof of the customers, for example, then there is a little bit more information required than just listing three products like the solar panels, the holders and the battery. There, of course, there's an entire team working on one quote and um, 
to give you a better clue about what I mean, we have a SharePoint list, which is a great um, co collaboration tool, and there are different modules for each quote. So I open this quote modules to give you a quick overview um, what kind of modules have to be integrated into the quote from Michaela. There is the quote ID, and you see there is an Excel calculation. For example, our tech team is calculating all the costs to install, in, install the, the panels. Um, you see it like here. Then we have, for example, a Word document. This is most of the time the work of the junior sales <laughs> manager. There's a little cover letter. It explains why it is a very good decision to work with solar panels. So this is a Word document. And as Lisa mentioned before, there is a connection plan. So this is in presentation as well. The tech team is working with that. Um, and this information should be integrated into the final quote as well. So yeah, we have all these documents. And now we just want to generate this quote. And I will show you how you would do it with Docs42. We go back to the solar panels. And you see, again, there's the name of the quote, and here is the, cust the customer information, the products. And here we have the possibility to generate the quote. And what I would like to do is just generate a PDF so you see how this quote should look like. And then we will use the other actions here. And we are using, in this case, again, the Docs42 online service, and the template is stored in SharePoint. But we will have a look at the template later. So it is, while I'm talking, it's uh, already done. So here's my quote. And you see there is a big mistake. <laughs> it is blue. So I was a little bit too quick when I was creating this template, so I have to fix this. Um, but in the beginning on the header, you see this is all the information from CRM. Then there is this cover letter. And you will see there are products from CRM. This is the Excel calculation from SharePoint, from Excel Online, and the PowerPoint presentation. So everything is integrated just with one click generated. Great. So actually, I have to fix this with the color first, and then I will send this quote to Michaela. So let me close this one. And as we promised, you don't have to leave Teams. So our template is in SharePoint stored and we have our template designer teams here and then I can directly go to the template for the sales quote. So I open this one and this is Word Online. You see it is loading at the moment. You see there is uh, the mistake. I could change the color here but I would like to show you the desktop version of our template. So I recently opened it before. So here it is and what you see, this is Word as you're used to work with. We have the Docs42 add-in here in the ribbon. And what you can do, just what you can do with the add-in is you can first of all connect the data and you need to connect to all your data sources because, and you have to create this data map and the data map is the heart of the document. This is, this tells Docs42 where is the data coming from and you, you're just doing the, the right connections here. And you see that we have all the CRM, CE, Dynamics 365 CE data here for the sales quote and of course our SharePoint data, um, Excel calculations and many more. So there, <laughs> there are a lot of possibilities you can connect to nearly every kind of data source at the same time and everything without programming, of course. Well, after having done this, uh, you have a Docs42 data field explorer here on the right hand side. All the data, the connected data is here now and you can just drag and drop it into the document. But I would like to quickly show you how you can work with the data field, the blue data fields then, because we wanted to change the color. So I highlight this one and I say this is supposed to be orange, not blue anymore. And that's it. Now the data coming directly from CRM is um, is now in the, in the correct color. And I can always generate my document locally. So I can do, it right, do this right now. So I will generate this and put it side by side to give you a better clue how it, what actually happened. So this is the specific quote, Solar Panel Deluxe from Michaela. And um, Docs42 now is integrating as well the information from CRM and the quote modules coming from SharePoint Online, such as the Word document here and the PowerPoint, the Excel calculations. Um, so, and it is just opening 
a new Word document here. And I put this two, these two documents side by side. So let's see if it's synchronized. Uh, let's zoom out a little bit. And you see um, there are the images. This one is just one um, document coming from SharePoint and we defined it as Word document and then Docs42 integrates the, the correct document at this point. Here is the product table. This is just one line. You can repeat. You ha we have then the possibility to create dynamic tables. So if you have 100 products integrated, then there will be 100 products integrated. And this is the Excel calculation here from SharePoint. And there is the PowerPoint presentation. And at the end, there is this little incentive. Well, that so I changed. I, the color is now correct again here in my template. So I did my job <laughs> again, and I will close this right now. But before I generate the quote, I would like to show you the template for the PowerPoint presentation as well, um, which we the, the sales the proposal template which we have seen before, just to show you that it works in the same way. So you just you can use all your text boxes which you know from which which you which are well known in powerpoint and you can integrate text as well as images so if i go further down you see there are the blue data fields this is an image for example then you have the normal text boxes and you just have these data fields integrated then so you can generate then dynamic um, data uh, dynamic powerpoints as well in the same way i you you're doing it normally yeah this is the entire um proposal here so you see um, there are all the possibilities as well good so I'm happy with my quote and I would like to send I Michaela a new um, sales quote for the for the required products so I go back to my sales teams and I go back to solar panels because from here I can directly generate an email but I would like to generate a um, a draft email because I want to to have a last check on my document and just clicking here on the button generate draft email will let the docs for two server generate an MSG file and opening the MSG file then gives me the possibility to ha have a last check on it so I open this one here and you see there's everything predefined, Michaela Mitarbeiter, there's the hello Michaela, and you can also, as this one is a Word template, I can integrate data from CRM as well into my document or into my email text, in my, to my predefined. I can say you, you are the best <laughs> customer, so I can individualize my email text if I want, but first I will check if everything is correctly done here in the presentation. The color is perfect, that looks good. The quote, the products. Oh, and there I see another mistake. So this is not very good. That's just a 1% discount, but we agreed on 10%. So I have to fix this, of course, uh, because Lisa is going mad at me if I do a lot of mistakes here. <laughs> then I just quickly close this again and I will go back to my pen to my panels here, to my solar panels, and I just correct the discount. So I say 10% discount. Now I save this one here. And as I trust in my skills now, and as I trust in Docs42, I directly send this email, this quote to Michaela, because now I'm convinced, 100% sure that it's correct. So I click here on email quote, and the quote again will be regenerated with the correct information here, and directly sent to Michaela Mitarbeiter, and you see here it is said done. So I go to my to the email account. We have a dummy dummy email account from Michaela. Let me open this one. Here it is. It was right now in this second. There is my new quote. Let me open this one with 10%. Hopefully <laughs> the color is of course corrected, and here there will be a 10% discount. So my job is done. Michaela has her quote, and yeah. Thank you very much. Good. So I'm happy that Fabian sent out the proposal and that he corrected the mistake that was still in there. So we know that Michaela has received the information and that also the truth is stored in the system. We have the 10% discount there. 
However, I also want to have the overview of what was the actual quote that was sent out, which is the current document, because I cannot see it if he sent it directly via email. So good that we have had something in the background. We had a Microsoft Flow. So as soon as Fabian went in here and changed the discount, or if he changed anything else, a Microsoft Flow was triggered automatically in the background, regenerated the quote and stored it for us in our sales quotes channel. So we can see the quote Solar Panels Deluxe two minutes ago, modified by Fabian Huber, so generated by him, was regenerated. And if I reopen it and have a look, I can see it's our quote for Michaela. Let's zoom in with the 10% discount. So perfect. We have the truth in the system and we also have the truth on which was, which was the latest document generated and sent out to the customer. Good. I'm very happy with everything that has been set up on how we could collaborate on this sales project. It's usually always a team involved in sales effort and Teams and Docs42 just gives us the opportunity to collaborate and streamline our sales processes even further. And to just quickly explain you how it works from a technical perspective, we've prepared a small slide. So how does it work? In the beginning, there's always a Docs42 template. So it could be a Word, an Excel, or a PowerPoint template. And this is where you connect to your data sources. So you do your D365 CE, to your SharePoint, it could be Salesforce, it could be Dynamics BC, Finance and Operations, you name it. Now, anything you need. And then once you've done with that, we are working with Docs42 Online, so a server as a software as a service, and with Azure Active Directory authentication in the background. So this one allows us, it gives us an access with a token, if everything is set up correctly, access with a token to our data in Dynamics and in SharePoint, for example. And if that one is allowed, it will later on uh, return us data with another token. Then there is a trigger, a manual one in Microsoft Teams, so all the button clicks you've seen, or uh, MS Power Automate or trigger with a flow automatically in the background. Once that is done, the information is sent to the Docs42 online server and the Docs42 online server knows what to do and to generate the document. So it could be an email, a PDF, sign it with DocuSign, with any other um, signature tool, um, storage to SharePoint to Teams, or just return it. You name it, whatever you need. That was it from our side. Thank you very much for watching. Also from my side, thank you so much. And if you have any question, just drop us an email or of course visit our website or start your free trial now. Bye. Bye. -bye.